Hi, it's Chris from Chris Schneider Art. This year I'm taking part in the South East Open Studios. It's a huge art trail all over the South East of England and I've turned my house basically in a into a gallery for three weeks. So I had to clear out all my furniture and my land and set up all the artwork. So it's not just me um, showing my artwork. There's um, Smat the Butcher, Joe McGilvery who does wonderful watercolour paintings and Patricia Buchanan who makes these bespoke handbags out of Paris Tweed. Here's some of my seascapes. I didn't realise I had so many of them and here's some of them, Sam's work. She's got some cards and some beautifully framed paintings. It's all looking very good. On this side we've got some of her larger paintings. She really likes creating these balloon kiss flowers and she uses string. I hate using string and she, but she's the master of it. She does some really lovely work. It was just really chaotic setting this all up and uh, it has been great fun. We've done the first weekend and we've got two more weekends to go. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed it carries on being successful. Here's some of Joan McGilvery's um, watercolour paintings. There are animals and landscapes and they're just really beautiful and she does um, cards of all her work as well. And these are gorgeous tote bags. Jo sells a lot of prints of her work and they're really popular with people because they're so fun and cheerful. You get a lot of reflections. I couldn't quite get some of the details but there's a beautiful hair painting up there. I really love it. And then these are some of Patricia Buchanan's beautiful bespoke handbags. She uses vintage um, fabrics and each one's unique. There's, she also does some aprons as well and small little coin purses. Here's some of my fluid artwork and the centerpiece is called Torn. It's one, one of my favourite pieces. It's usually hanging in my lounge and here's some of my smaller framed paintings and using a floating frame really kind of sets the work off. Some more of a Samantha's beautiful artwork. You can see some of the string work she does and she also does these beautiful Dutch paws as well so she's quite talented. And then I'm coming on to some of my favourite landscape paintings. This is uh, one of the collaboration pieces I did with Julie Vatcher. And these two pieces, they're my favourite. The landscape ones are mainly inspired, these ones are mainly inspired by the South Downs and the countryside around me. And it's very inspiring countryside. So I usually have um, music playing in the background and I had great fun choosing the music list. There's a lot of Jack Johnson and some quirky, cool kind of cocktail jazz music, just very lightly playing in the background. This is the Chrism Corner, which you just saw, where people can sign up for acrylic pouring classes. Into my studio now. This is where I record all my YouTube videos and where I do all my paintings. It's quite a small room but it's perfectly, perfectly formed and I've got these shelves on either side of the room so when I'm running my landscape courses I can change the paintings really easily for reference to show people what I'm talking about. I have tidied up the room because usually it's a right old chaotic mess and the table which I use for filming and painting is usually in the centre of the room so I can work all the way around it but um, I pushed it up against the window so I could show some of my work. I did get some greeting cards made of my work and they came out really well. But the most important thing on this table is my artist statement and my biography. These are very important if you're doing shows because the artist statement tells people your thoughts and thinking about the art that you're creating and your some of your processes, it's, but it's mainly your aim and what you're trying to achieve with it. The biography gives people an insight into your background and both of these things are very important because it helps you make a connection with potential buyers. I'm sorry there was no new painting video this week. I found putting this on has been great fun but it's sapped all my creative um, energy so I haven't had a chance to even think about creating a painting but I'm hoping to do one next week and if I don't I do actually have something exciting coming up. Do take care and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Bye.